thing to do than even Amazon or Microsoft. Nice. This is an example of uh, one of the servers that we get from a customer. There are uh, four, 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 there are 16 memory slots in here. And if we actually add the RAM and max this thing out as an example, uh, we can do about a half a terabyte of RAM in this server. And this server is only this tall. I'm gonna tell you in a minute, this is called a two unit server. Two units, each unit is 1.75 inches tall. If you notice, there are 12 hard drives in the front of this thing. So this is a multi terabyte of storage and a half a terabyte of RAM. So that's two units. is our brand new EOS rack. And what this guy does is it is 42U tall. So it's 1.75 inches, 42U. So that river that I showed you a little bit ago is 2U as an example. So that means you could put 21 of those servers in this rack. Let's just call it 20 servers. So the server I showed you a minute ago that's 2U has a half a terabyte of RAM capable in it. So, and it's an old server that's, you know, four or five years old, but so what? So, if it's half a terabyte and we were to load up 20 of those, that would be 10 terabytes of RAM in this particular scenario. That's RAM. The amount of storage, raw storage would be in here would be hundreds and hundreds of terabytes of raw storage. And when you RAID 5 it or make it redundant or whatever, you may cut it down to a few hundred terabytes of raw storage, or uh, RAIDed storage or redundant storage. Gotcha. Here's another little item that we picked up from one of our customers. This is a chassis. This chassis has 16 slots. Those slots hold servers. This is actually a server. It's got a spot for a couple of drives. It also has the ability to, it's got a ton of RAM in it. It's got processor in it. It's got a spot for another processor if necessary. But the bottom line is these things are very inexpensive and uh, we know how to run them and we collect them from our customers for next to nothing. Um, so, and this guy just fits in here. They literally just want to throw these away when... Yeah, because they're buying new ones that are five years newer, and they've got some processing capability for their world, and they've only got one server, and so they need it to be faster, right? In our case, we're collecting these. Many, many customers are moving to the cloud. They're going, you know what, that data center would make, or that data closet or whatever, it would make a great cubicle space for four more employees or 10 more employees. So they want the stuff out of there. So they're, like, they're saying, hey, to them, this is almost like metal. They're like, this is metal. How much can we get at the recycle for this? Oh my and gosh. We go, uh, we'll take it. Yeah, yeah. And listen, it's a pain to take this stuff and have to go reload with operating systems and stuff. So many people today are just fired up on the cloud, fired up on the cloud. But since we have such great power pricing here, since we have a facility that's paid for, since we have triple internet connections here, since this is free, why throw this away in a dump somewhere? Why not use it for a great, a great cause? These, these are UPSs, and I've got a couple more of them to show you. These are uninterruptible power supplies. So they're batteries in here, and they uh, they keep the system running in the event that it goes down. Okay, but they yeah. fit in the same rack. Yeah, they're all rack mounted. They're called rack mounted. There's another one right there. These are big monster UPSs that we've gotten back, and uh, they've all been reconditioned with new batteries. So, we have plenty of ports here to get that BP node up and running. Hi Clay, this is Jeremy calling in from Phoenix, Arizona. Just wanted to say, really love your YouTube channel. I check out, you know, every single time you put out a new episode, I really look forward to it. Love how you, uh, you you make it understandable for the common man. I don't have a technical background, so you know when I look at EOS, I have to understand it through you know what I know in life, and I don't know coding or any of that. But you know you you lay it out there, simple, easy for guys to understand who don't have that technical background. That's what I love about your channel. So keep up the good work. Um, good luck on your venture with EOS. Hope it all goes well for you, and I'll let you know because of the good work you've put out on YouTube. You'll definitely be getting my vote. So take care.